and welcome to Route 27 Computer Repair. This video is going to demonstrate how to reset the BIOS password on a Toshiba satellite laptop. The Toshiba we're working with today is a satellite C655D as in dog dash S as in Sam 5200. And to get started first thing you need to do is you need to remove the battery, remove the RAM cards, and remove the hard drive. Also, you want to make sure you're going to have a power cable and have one of the RAM cards handy, just one. You don't need two if you have two. Um, and just a recap, this is for people who are getting this message. Gosh, sorry, it's hard to read. Um, try to read it better. Freaking iPhone. You're getting this message: enter current password when turning on the computer before you can even get into the BIOS or to the Windows operating system. So the magic is going to be. right in here right in the drive um, it's called shorting it the jumpers it's, there's a little end in here let me zoom in without focusing right Oop. right there the word that says the triple X the triple X X X see those two little soldering squares all you gotta do is take a flathead screwdriver before you turn on the computer and have a flathead touching both of those soldering squares so it makes a connection and shorten, shorts it basically and turning it on and holding it for 20 seconds so the first thing you want to do is what I like to do is when you're turning it on you obviously want to pin Sorry, you want to pin the laptop up so that the screen's all on. And what you would do, you have the power supply plugged in. You take your screwdriver, and I got a better picture of it on my iPhone. I'll just see here. Where that XXX is. There's two little soldering squares right above the XXX and you got two metal soldering squares and then like a white vertical pipe sign in between. You want to get a flathead screwdriver that's going to touch both of those squares, the metal, so that they connect before you turn it on. So you'll put the flathead screwdriver on those two squares back over here and you'll hit the power button with no RAM card in it. No, no RAM cards whatsoever. The computer's going to boot and it's going to beep, 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 beep for about, you know, two, three minutes. I want, you want to hold this screwdriver on that block for five minutes. Once the beeping stops, then turn it off. You want to put a RAM card in one of the first slots and proceed to do the same thing. You put a one RAM card in, turn it on with the flat head touching the triple X double soldering bot, um, boxes so it makes a connection turning it on wait one minute even if it asks even if the screen says enter a password just hold the screwdriver there and then turn it off and then put the RAM card in the other slot and do the same procedure for one minute once it's done you should be able to turn on the computer and get to a boot screen just put the hard drive back in, put the RAM cards back in, put the battery back in, and your system should be bootable.